I would request convener of the workshop, Dr. Anil Gore, sir, for his presentation on statistics and theory of evolution. Okay, friends, let me tell you what the plan is. Uh, it, by 5.30, we expect to have some citizens of Nashik visit us. So hopefully by 5.30, we should be closing our academic program for this day. Therefore, I will talk up to 5.30. And uh, the request is please remind me 10 minutes before 5.30 so that I can properly wind up. <clears throat> and I will now share an embarrassment with you. We aren't sure if my material is, <laughs> is on the machine or not. We have been running around uh, quite a bit and today, especially today, since 3 a.m. we are running around. <laughs> there was somebody going away and then there were my younger colleagues coming and then we had this planned visit to Eklare and um, things didn't quite go by the time. So anyway, I mean these are no excuses, we should have had this uh, material here. Alright, so I'm going to talk about one of my favorite things which is theory of evolution. Um, and I like always to begin with uh, the story of this young man whose father was very hopeful that he will carry the torch of the family forward and become a member of the clergy and uh, that was not to be and went to study geology instead and had this favorite uh, whatever hammer of his and he had he, even a name you know it almost like sounds like a child uh, the name was Thor. So the hammer to be used, you know, when you go out to examine rocks. Uh, this morning, we visited the Eklare site and our, our guide. Uh, um, yes, uh, he, he really, very fondly, he picked up a piece of rock, broke it and showed us how it is in multi layers and how there could be uh, fossils inside. This is exactly what this young man would do, you know, look for look for fossils. And he graduated and nothing much to do. And finally somebody suggested that he could spend time on a ship. So there was this ship which was going away and uh, they said he has good connections and all we have to do is to feed him, no salary anyway. It's nice to have a young graduate on, on the ship. So he goes to the ship and spends five years and brings back a whole lot of stuff. And all that stuff is still there in the British Museum. You know, he sent back his collections in wooden boxes and they are still there. And comes back, you know, he's from a good family, doesn't have to really worry about how to make the two ends meet. Uh, big estate and starts working on science and writing and <laughs> amazingly makes a lot of money by selling those books and that's all he does for all his life uh, yeah thank you that's the man I'm talking about <laughs> so I want you to notice the the dates birth is in 1809 nearly 200 years, right? 1809 to 1882. And published his most important book, Origin of Species. This is not really the full name. The full name is much, much bigger. It's almost like a good strain. <clears throat> On 1859. So, at the age of 50, uh, he published this book. And... Uh, this picture, of course, is much later than that. So, an amazing man uh, with an amazing life. Essentially, 
intellectual life uh, <coughs> did not did not really do anything to in the normal sense to to make money but changed the, the face of the earth uh, like i shared with you this notion that when i was in my first year of college we had to compulsorily study biology and it scared me to no end because uh, my teachers had excellent uh, way with the drawing you know they would they would name an animal or a plant and and a flower and a seed and this and that and would would very nicely draw those things and i asked myself how can i ever do this no way the only thing i could draw was an amoeba <laughs> and the other thing that scared me was all the names you know as it is i came from an english from a marathi medium school and entering a college with instructions in english was a trauma on top of that well each subject had its own scary ghosts so in mathematics you had triangle and perpendicular and trigonometry i mean they were all words which were alien to us but the topper among these was biology because it had such words on every page <laughs> so i decided it was not something for me to do and i gave up on it <clears throat> and then very much later in my life i realized that biology has very little to do with latin it has very little to do with drawing i mean it's it's nice if you can draw but you can be a good biologist without being a <laughs> you are good at drawing and like many other sciences but perhaps even more so the principal instrument in study of biology is the one between your ears the brain and the principal tool for learning biology is logic uh, and compared to other sciences the one beautiful thing about biology is that See, science is about the question why and in biology for almost all why questions there was only one answer darwin that really mesmerized me and i kept on reading about darwin it became you know such a